welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another wee meals of the week. It is slightly different over here as it's Easter half term, the kids are off school. I'm going to show you what we've enjoyed from Tuesday through to Saturday. Also my lovely friend Charlie from the channel Mummy in the Know is going to join in over on her channel. Once you've watched my video you can check her video out. The links will be in the description box and the comments down below. Charlie is absolutely lovely and I've met her in person and she comes across just as nice and really down to earth as she does in her day in the life vlogs which I am addicted to. I absolutely love. But if she's new to you I'm going to let her introduce herself to you now. Hi, my name's Charlie and I vlog at Mummy in the Know. And I have got three kids. I've got Louis, who's four, Evie, who's two, and my little nine week old, Isabel. And my channel is mainly like day in the life videos, routine videos, hauls, foodie videos, makeup, a bit of everything really, a bit of a mixed bag. And I have filmed my meals of the week this week. They are semi well friendly meals for the family. I would love it if you come over and check my video out after you've watched Ashley's. And yeah. Hopefully you'll click that subscribe button while you're there. Bye. And yeah, like I said, she's absolutely lovely and she's got three really young little ones. And um, with me having five, seven and under, I can completely relate. So do check it out. Oh, and also if you are over from Charlie's channel, hello, thank you for popping on over. And if you do enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it if you want to see more. But anyway guys, I'm gonna get cracking and show you what we had for the week. So it's Tuesday, I'm using up some Parma ham some lean mints, carrots, onions, garlic, passata, tin of chopped tomatoes and some tomato puree and going to make a nice wee homemade lasagna. So basically just frying off my onions, grated carrot, I've already done the mints and then I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients in to make a nice ragu sauce. I always like to add a little bit of red wine just to make it really nice and deep taste. So for the bechamel sauce I'm using some leeks and I'm going to blend those down. So I'll fry them off then add them into my normal roux which is just milk, flour and butter. Let that set for a while season it up and then when it's ready start layering it up on the sheets of pasta then add my mince and the topping will be two types of grated cheese I've got a mild cheddar and a red cheddar pop it in the oven 40 minutes later comes out bubbling like this it's just me and the kids tonight Alistair still working so this is mine with peas and garlic bread then we've got the two youngest boys Jude and Sonny and then Dylan and Lola's and it's just a nice easy dinner sometimes I like to make two at the same time and freeze it as well. So Wednesday night we're making a sweet and sour. We've got chicken, pineapple, mini sweet corn kernels is that they were called, onions, yellow pepper, red pepper, some ginger. I'm all out of fresh ginger. Um, pineapple juice, tomato ketchup, dark soy sauce, some dried chilies, white wine vinegar and brown sugar. There is a recipe, I'm going to link this down below for this dish. And um, Basically I'm just going to get to work on frying off all the veg first of all. So my peppers, the sweet corn and onions I fry down first. Then I'm making a corn flour and pineapple juice mix and this is used at the end to thicken up that sweet and sour sauce just so it covers all the chicken. And then obviously I've got a helper making the sweet and sour sauce. He's a good tester, he'll always say sweeter. If you want it sweeter, obviously you want to add a bit more of the ketchup and the brown sugar. If you prefer that sharper bite or bitter taste, add more white wine vinegar. So I've got my chicken and pineapple in, add the sauce until I've got a nice consistency like this. Let it settle for about 10 minutes and then all plated up. We're just having it with basmati rice, that's Alistair's, mine. And then Dylan and Lola's, Sonny and Jude's, and we don't need it with prawn crackers or bread or anything because it's really filling as it is. Then Thursday, a long day over Easter at the zoo. If you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. So we had a late lunch and ice cream. So we're going to do a simple club sandwich. And we cooked this bacon and chicken earlier this morning and let it cool. Full white loaf, you have to have your white bread for it. And basically I'm getting the kids into pajamas, Alistair will start getting to work. So we've got a bit of a sandwich station here set up and we've got lots toasted. And basically it's one of those easy kind of dinners to make, isn't it? So plate it up, me and Alistair have went for the three layers. The kids we've just kept as two layers. You've got to have it with some crisps. We're having barbecue Pringles and yeah, I just love it. The kids really like it because it reminds them of holiday, having room service. 
service and sometimes you just want a simple dinner. So Good Friday I'm going to do my normal roast lamb and you've probably seen this before so it's my parsnips and carrots in the base and I use a mix of olive oil, honey and a little bit of seasoning and warm water and this creates like a bain marie and it will really keep the moisture in your leg of lamb. So with my leg of lamb it's quite a large one, it will do two meals. For the rub I'm using olive oil, seasoning, garlic, cumin, a little bit of chilli and I had some rosemary and thyme I've snipped into it as well. I'll base that all over the lamb. It's about two kilograms this one so it'll take almost two hours in the oven. Um, we've got the mix over it, it'll come out of the oven really nice, I'll uncover the foil for the last 10-15 minutes to get a nice coating and these vegetables underneath are delicious because all the juices run into it. So I'm actually going to keep about a third of the veg and all of the juices almost for tomorrow's dish that you'll see. But this is us plated up and we're just having it with broccoli, there's our carrots and parsnips, the nice lamb and our roast potatoes. So on Saturday we're going to use up all the leftovers, we've got that lamb and I chose the nearest to the bone part so it's less cooked. We've got carrots and parsnips, our stock. I'm going to add in some apricots, raisins. I've got a ton of spices. It'll mainly be cumin, garlic, garam masala. I'm cooking off my onions and they're in some of the spices there. And we're going to make a Moroccan tagine which is really basically a lamb stew. So basically that's it simmering away. Because so much of it was pre-cooked the day before, we really can cut a three hour dish down to about an hour. So that's cooking until it starts thickening up. And then I'm going to put it in the oven with the tagine dish and serving it up in the tagine. It keeps it really warm. As you can see, the juices have evaporated a bit more and everything's just really soft and juicy. Serving it with couscous and some naan. Then next day it's our Easter tradition to do an Easter piñata cake. So I'm just making a simple Victoria sponge. You can see the video to this. It was my very first video if you want to look back. So basically I'm making different layers. Then I cut out the centre and we're going to fill it with mini eggs. I've made some buttercream there and then we're just going to decorate it. Every year we decorate it differently. It's not a surprise anymore because the kids do know what's inside. But they're edible carrots and then just crushed Oreos on the top and then a few decorations that aren't edible. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the video this week. If you did and you're new, make sure to hit subscribe and do check out Charlie's video and the link to that is in the comments down below. Thanks very much for watching guys. Bye!